It is the most anticipated political race in Connecticut in 2012. Senator Joe Lieberman's seat is open, but I want to go back to our conversation in segment two. In national politics, Mitt Romney, perceived to be the front runner on the GOP, is religion still the elephant in the room? Will that be an issue? Push come to shove, Themis. I think religion is always an issue, and I think it's it's a bigger issue than it should be. Bigger I than guess, race? I guess. Is it bigger? Do I feel it's bigger? I don't yeah. think it's Cause, cause bigger. I think it say, depends. I think say, it depends on what party you're from. But some are going to say, hey, the, the country listen to a black president, religion, ah, that can't be a, a big deal. So why would religion be a big issue? Because I think within the Republican Party, it, it might be a bigger issue than it might be nationally overall. And I guess in a state like Massachusetts, as liberal as Massachusetts is, and they elected a Mormon Republican as governor. And I remember the first time I met R Mitt Romney several years ago, and I asked him, I just want to know how you got elected, mm. a say? Republican Mormon in the state of Massachusetts, and how did you reconcile your views religiously with, say, some social issues, for example, abortion? And he said, you know, what, I'm, what I said I would do, and I did do, is I said, no matter what my religious views are on abortion, I will never do anything to change the state of the law of the state of Massachusetts in that regard. So he would check his religion at the door, he told them. But if he were not a Mormon, would his poll numbers be higher? I think they absolutely would. I, I find it absolutely outrageous that we're having, even having a discussion about religion and whether that qualifies you or disqualifies you for the presidency. Rick Perry had a Baptist minister uh, endorse him, saying Mitt Romney's uh, Mormon religion is a cult and the Catholic Church is a cult. Rick Perry didn't disavow that. And I think Corey's right. In a way, it goes back to John Kennedy. Kennedy sort of handled that very, very well. Let's not forget, John Huntsman is a Mormon as well, another, another guy in the race. Utah. So if it, if it is... Pretty, there's it's some pretty strident principles in the old Mormon religion that are troubling when it comes to race. So it's not just we're dealing with Catholic and then Baptist. With the Mormon religion, there's some pretty, some would say, you know, bigoted views about people back in the old uh, tenets. So well, how do you I, deal with I, that? I think in the Catholic faith, you have some very strict tenets that politicians don't necessarily think is good public policy. They may hold it personally. And actually, the reason Mitt Romney got elected to Massachusetts is because it's so liberal. They don't care what religion you are. They care if you're a good governor. Well, could be if, a good if governor. If there was a Muslim running, should it make a difference? No. No. I, I think race is different from religion. Um, in the sense that race is something you're born with, you can't change it, it's part of who you are, whereas religion is something you believe. And so t I guess to say like if someone had a faith and they worship the devil, to say that I shouldn't take that into consideration when I vote for the President of the United States, I should. And not to say one religion over another, but it's not like race, it's very different. I do want to know what the Commander in Chief believes, it, whether they do believe in a higher power and, and what they think about that. And do they, does, does their religion say blacks and whites shouldn't be together or, or anything else? That, that matters to me because that's much different than race. No, and it, it, matters, it matters to me what they think, not, on, not just what their religion is. All right? I mean, there are Mormons that are very strict and have very, you know, let's just say old-fashioned views, mm -hmm. as, as I think you were alluding to. But most of the Mormons nowadays, especially, you know, in this part of the country, are not like that. I mean, I have a very close friend who's a Mormon, and I know, I mean, she, she doesn't drink and she doesn't, you know, do certain things, but she doesn't think anything about race or other people's no. religion or anything. She's just like anybody else. And it appears as if that's what Mitt Romney is like. I mean, as Pat mentioned, I mean, there are Catholics that are so strict that they don't believe in anything mm. that but most people do. So the fact, the fact we're talking about it here, exactly, and it is a distraction. It's a distraction, right? It is a distraction, but we really shouldn't give short shrift to the voting public. You know, if people really were worried about whether someone has a higher power, George W. Bush never would have been elected. I mean, he came out and said that it was in God's plans that he become president. Maybe it was. I don't know. But it's, religion has always been a piece of it. It shouldn't be a piece of it just because a Mormon's never been president. I, I just, I find it mind-boggling that it's even an issue. Simmons makes a great point. I do ultimately think the, any candidate shouldn't be 
judge based on the religion, but what their views are on the issues ultimately at the end of the day and their views on their own religion. So um, Mitt Romney or any other candidate will have to answer. One day if we have a, a, a Muslim um, American president, you will have to speak about how your views um, mess with the Constitution. All right, let's change gears. About a minute left now. Segway now to local politics. Big race 2012 Connecticut. Joe Lieberman's seat is open. Folks in fighting have already begun. Democrats, you have Susan Beiswitz versus uh, Chris Murphy. Let's talk about that infighting and who wins that. That would be a pretty good bloodbath there, Pat. You're a Democratic operative. Real quickly, a, a synopsis on Bicewitz and a quick synopsis on Murphy and who wins when all the blood is shed. Murphy wins. Why? Um, he has twice the money right now. He has the backing of the National Democratic Party. But Susan Bicewitz has Emily's list behind her and she's got $1.6 million in her uh, bankroll. So it's not over. But Murphy wins. And she has sharp elbows, right? Because politically she likes She does, to... but I also think there's still a hangover from her handling of the last election when she was Secretary of State. I think people are still holding on to that totally mishandled. Here's someone who yeah. blew two races, right? She backed up her governor That's when right. she was a leader, then ran for Attorney General, and then was disqualified for that. Arguably lost two uh, races in the one year, right? Very true. All right, so the GOP side. Chris Shays wants to come back, right? Former congressman versus... Um, uh, Linda, Linda McMahon, right? Money bags, billionaire. Uh, who wins that one? Fifteen I don't seconds. Think, I don't think that's as as cut and dry as as the Democrats said. I Why think not? because I just think that you have p two completely different people. Who wins? I honestly I can't say. Corey, ten seconds. Say. Who wins it? Second vice chair. I'm neutral. Oh my Nick goodness! Give me, Nick give me. Man. <laughs> Nick Mann wins the primary. Shays would have be a, would be a better candidate in the general, but he can't okay. win the primary. Got to run, guys! All this fence sitting. Got to run. All our thanks to all our guests, Dr. Darlene Powell Garlington, Pat Scully, Themis Claritus, and Corey Brinson. Don't forget to catch our show 24/7. CTNow.com/stand. Friend us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter for the good folks here at Fox Connecticut. I'm Stan Simpson. The morning news is next. Happy New Year.